Crafty, you look so fancy. Hey, what is up ladies and gents? My name is Jaden of Team Vox Populi and you are here for another 1.5.1 mod showcase. So today we have for you the Utility Mobs mod done by Father Toast on the Minecraft forums for 1.5.1. It's a mod that adds a whole bunch of utility mobs, much like the Iron Golem or the Snow Golem, into your game. And these guys are really cool defenders. So we will be checking that out today as well as some block golems. So without any further ado, let's get started. Wow! So today we are joined by Crafty, one of our friends from the block golems. And he will be helping us to go over the recipes for different golems. So here we have the basic stone golem. It's crafted with two cobblestone and a pumpkin. And let's just check him out. So he is built like so. One, two and three and there you have it folks there is your stone golem and he's not that strong nor that tanky because he's made out of cheap cobblestone but you know what he does a great job and here we have the recipe for the larger stone golem this is basically the same as the regular sized stone golem except that he has more health and more attacking power so here we are in the mob facilities and we're gonna test out these large stone golems attacking power Whoa! So here we have the setup for the large stone golem who is built much like the iron golem. And as you can see, he will not move at all, like at all. And he is the same model as the iron golem, and as you can see, the same animations. So he'll remain still until you actually spawn in the zombie, in which case, he will go after him. Now over here we have the recipe for the obsidian golem, and as you can guess from the base material, this golem is going to be a little b to take down as 50 hearts of damage and its armor reduces damage by 80% so let's go check that out. So here is our obsidian golem and as you can see I have with me Mr. Squiggles with his all magicalness and we will see how many hits it can take him down with with sharpness, punch, fortune and fire aspect and all that great stuff. So let's see one hit oh 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 he died. Crafty what are you doing? Stop that! Stop that right now! Ugh! So our friend the Obsidian Golem is back, and as you can see here, I have a sword with sharpness and looting, so we can see how many hits it will actually take to take this guy down. And as you can see, he is taking a lot of hits from a sword with sharpness X. So, yeah, I mean, he's like Obsidian, just pain in the ass to kill the- Oh, blah. Okay, there we go, he's down. Here we have the recipe for an Armor Golem. It's built with one pumpkin and two iron blocks, and it is- half the amount of iron that you need for an iron golem, but it's still really tough and spawns with a weapon, so let's go check him out. So here is our armor golem, just an empty suit of armor, and he will correspond with your texture pack, which is a nice addition. So we'll just see how he fares against this zombie. So one, two, three, four. Four hits! As you can see, he doesn't really take any damage, because the zombie does not know to attack him. So yeah, build an armor golem today. He will serve you. To the death. So here we are looking at, that's right, the Butter Golem. So much like the Armor Golem, it spawns as an empty set of armor and comes with a weapon. Now because Butter here is so enchantable, every time it hits a mob, it will drop one single experience orb, so you can get free EXP without having to do anything, so let's go check that out. So here we observe the natural Butter Golem in its environment. As you can see, it's enchanted. So we'll spawn in a zombie for him to fight. And as you can see, when he attacks him, you can hear that I'm getting EXP, as you can see right there, and there, and there. So yeah. EXP! EXP! Oh my gosh, he looks disappointed in me. He's shaking his head. Er, my god! Now over here on this side, we have the Scarecrow. He's cheap and easily crafted. He is made up of one pumpkin, one piece of wool, and three fences, and that will give you the Scarecrow. So, uh, this is how you build a Scarecrow, and he's super adorable, as you can see. He kind of looks like a skeleton. As you can see, I can actually give him my weapon. So he has my weapon now, and it's enchanted. So his strength is changed by the weapon that you give him. You can also go into your inventory. You can give him things like flint and steel, and if you give that to him, he'll be able to set mobs on fire when he attacks them, so that's really cool. Now additionally, you should note that when a scarecrow damages a mob with a weapon, 
The sword or weapon in question will not accumulate any uses in durability. The durability will remain as intact as when you gave the Scarecrow the weapon. As you can see, when I killed the Scarecrow, he dropped the weapon that he was holding. And he also dropped a fence. So all the golems drop a remnant of what they were made up of. Now the cursed creature that spawns from this recipe is called a Bound Soul. It's crafted with a pumpkin and two pieces of soul sand. Now this guy is basically the ultimate warrior. You can give him armor and you can give him weapons and he will fight for you and he is scary as hell. So let's go check that out. Ermagerd, it's hero burn! So as you can see here, we have a couple of bound souls, and I can give them armor like so by right-clicking on them. Oops, there we go. Now, as usual, I can also give them a weapon, but they can also wield bows, as you can see. So these guys will be able to attack from long distance, and they will be amazing archers, and they're awesome and scary, and you just want to craft these, so just get a pumpkin farm going, and like, go to the nether, and just go crazy! <laughs> Okay, so I understand that all those crafting recipes can be easily forgotten, so to help you out, there is an easy crafting recipe here. You can get one pumpkin, which is the base of all your, all your utility golems, and here we have a book, which is a book. And if you craft those together, you will get this, the utility golem recipe book. So here we have it here, the golem manual. And when we right click, it basically gives us all the crafting recipes of everything that I just showed you. Now I'm sure by now you must be wondering how to craft crafty over here. So let's get started on the block golems. So here is the crafting recipe for the crafting table golem. So you'll notice that you need a skeleton head in this recipe. So that will have to be cheated in somehow. But yeah, it'll give you the super awesome crafty the workbench golem. And so we are just going to go ahead and we will build one now. So you put that down and you take your skeleton head and you have to shift click. That way you don't activate your workbench. So there you go. And as you can see, he spawns sitting down much like a wolf. So here we have Crafty. We're just going to shift and right click him and he will stand up. We can right click him to use him as a crafting bench. So that's pretty awesome. So let's take a look at the other recipes so we can make his friends. So here we have the chest. We have the furnace as well, we have the ender chest, and we have the anvil. So let's start with the furnace. So here we have the furnace golem, and he looks like a furnace. Well, no kidding. Here we have the ender chest. We will make him, and he's an ender chest golem. And last but not least, we have the anvil. We will put him down, and he is one depressed looking fellow. Do you see that sad face? It should be noted. There is also a crafting recipe for a trapped chest golem. Go to the Minecraft forum official mod page and check that recipe out. Peace out my home dogs. And of course, just like last time, if you happen to forget crafting recipes really easily, even ones as simple as uh, that over there, then here we have the book for you. Take a skeleton head and mix that in with an industrial brand strength thingy mabobber book version 3000 and you will get this little thing here. And when we look at it, we can see that it is a block golem manual. So if we go ahead and we read that, it functions exactly the same as the last manual and is just really helpful to use. And you should also note that it has all of these stats with movement speeds and armor levels and health and all that. So ladies and gents, this has been the Utility Mobs mod done by Father Toast on the Minecraft forums. So this is an awesome mod. It actually includes turrets which I may do in a part two if we can happen to hit 30 likes on this video. I will upload that video next week. But in the meantime, I would like to thank the following viewers who subscribed in the last week since our last video. I would like to honor you guys by throwing your names up, up on the screen as I am now serving you guys up some delicious honor tood because you guys subscribed. So if you subscribe today, you can join Team Vox Populi and be featured in next week's mod showcase, which hopefully will be turrets because you guys will like this video and we will have 30 likes. You will like it! And so basically, ladies and gents, this has been the Utility Mobs mod part 1. And if you enjoyed, please like, go and download the mod, tell Father Toast I sent you because he is awesome and this mod is awesome. So if you like what you see, and uh, you see what you like, and you like Kuabi, keep the love alive, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Every subscriber really does help, guys. We are almost to a thousand, and we will do the... 
So we will be doing a subscriber special when we hit 1,000 subs, so I hope we get there soon. Love you guys, and uh, yeah, until next week's Mod Showcase. Stay classy, ladies and gents. Alright, bye bye Oh, Mr. Crafty, what are you doing? I, I, I didn't know you were into that kind of stuff. This, this is surprising.